Happy Friday, everyone. I hope you're all doing well. This is your After the Bell update for July 30th, 2021. It's the last day of the month, and the S&P closed up for its sixth consecutive month in a row. Let's jump right over to tipranks.com. We're going to talk about the major indices first before covering some news. And uh, one stock that's up almost 30% after hours, KRTX. We're going to talk about that Toward the, towards the end and what's going on there. But the S&P 500 was down slightly today, pulled down by Amazon. Amazon, if you guys watched the, our uh, live stream today with Sam and I, uh, it, it was it's, it's crazy how much Amazon was down today, down like 7%, 7.5% on one point, pulling the S&P down. Um, Etsy was pulled down as well. There are a lot of companies that in the wake of Amazon and lower, you know, lower revenues, in the wake of Pinterest and lower daily active users, th this is affecting some of the other companies because investors are starting to worry about slowing growth. Um, so that was something that pulled the S&P down half a percent today. However, the S&P has traded up six consecutive months in a row. So that's a really, really good thing. The Dow Jones, really close to record highs still, but down 0.42% today. NASDAQ, very similar, really close to record highs, but down right around 0.6%. Uh, but BTC running, running right now after hours, especially, even though there are no trading hours for Bitcoin. But 41,000 per coin, they were trading under right around 39,000 when Sam and I spoke right around uh, 1230 Eastern Standard Time. Um, so Bitcoin is definitely on a run right now. That's really, really good to see. This company right here, Karuna Therapeutics, KRTX, we're going to talk about that at the end. So I want you guys to stick around because there's uh, there's an analyst that just released a, a price target and it, it shot the stock up. So, but uh, I want you guys to see this analyst rating. So we'll see. All right. In news, we have A tier receiving U.S. patent for lung treatment using ATYR1920. Three. A-Tier Pharma is a biotherapeutics company focused on the research and development of innovative medicines based on novel biological pathways. The patent covers the company's process for the use of hishmishkamishkamish, shishmishmish. I, I don't know anything about that. You got to go to a doctor for that. Uh, certain proteins in reducing inflammation responses in the lungs. Notably, the patent covers the use of the company's lead therapeutic product, ATYR 1923. Guys, usually when a therapeutics company or a biotechnology company receives a patent, it's usually a good thing for that company. Uh, ATYR, ticker symbol LIFE, great ticker symbol for them, comes in with a strong buy based on three analyst ratings with, get this, an average upside of 189.7%. That's a big, big upside. The analyst ratings, however, are coming in over the last month. So I expect that after this patent that uh, just got uh, approved, uh, I, I think we're going to see far more ratings over the next couple days, and we'll check back on ticker symbol life. All right. Zendesk misses second quarter earnings and expectations. Shares plunged 6.3%. Adjusted earnings of 13 cents per share fell short of analyst expectations of 16 cents per share. The company reported earnings of 14 cents per share in the prior year period. However, revenues were actually up 29% year over year to 318.2 million, but lagged consensus estimates of 319.79 million dollars. The increase in revenues reflected record booking seen during the quarter and strong growth in sales to enterprise customers. Ticker symbol Zen was down 13.3% in normal trading hours today, but actually was up 7.6% after hours. So people are buying the dip on Zen here. This comes with a strong buy based on five analyst ratings with an average upside of almost 39% for Zen. So KRTX, okay, was at one point up right around 30% after hours trading. And in doing a bunch of research on why this occurred, the only thing I can find, and please correct me if I'm wrong down in the comments, let me know what's going on, is people are saying that uh, Jeffries released coverage and uh, assigned a price target of $158. But that was three days ago, so I, I, I think I'm missing something, but nothing against Chris Howerton here, but... Uh, 
He's got a lot of ratings. And he's ranked uh, 7,429 out of 7,609. His success rate's 29%. So hopefully Chris isn't managing his own money. Uh, but uh, I, I, So I don't know if that's the case. I don't know if that's what is running this price up. Please let me know. It could be a situation where they got some sort of patent or some sort of therapeutic approved or something like that. And that's why it's running after hours. Let me know, guys. Thank you so much. I hope you guys all have a great weekend. I will be back Monday through Friday for your After the Bell, uh, posted between 5 and 6 p.m. Central Standard Time, Monday through Friday. And then, of course, your normal stock market video here on the Tip Ranks YouTube channel. Guys, thank you so much. Have a great weekend. I'll see you Monday.